I shared over a couple of application with you, LCM version, non-LCM version. We'll start with creating a sample application and setting up practice application, right? So, uh, the first we are going to start with setting up practice application. Practice application consists of all the artifacts you are going to learn throughout in your HSM, right? So, setting up practice application would be of two uh, step job. First for desktop client, let's see this way. First we'll see non-LCM version of application, application setup. In non-LCM version, what is non-LCM we'll discuss next. There would be two part of application setup, one for desktop client and another one for web client. And in subsequent session, we'll see how to set up application using LCM. Setting up application using LCM. LCM is, for now you can understand the built-in utility provided by Hyperion to uh, make a copy of the application, upgrading application, migrating application from one environment to another environment, upgrading application. So this is a built-in utility called lifecycle management utility. So we'll see all these three steps, these three approaches to build our practice application. I'll be starting with the assumption as if all the artifacts required to build the application are already available, consistent and has no error, right? So the practice application I have given you will be taking that application and building our own application. So all the information about how to set up practice application is given in student guide too. You can refer it along with the class. Okay, so the first step is start your HFM server. As I said, there is when you configure HFM for non-cluster single server environment, you can open one application at a time, right? So because I already opened an application, I'm going to create a new application and then place all the artifacts over there. So first step, create application, specify server name in which you are going to create application. These other services should be up and running. If you are running in desktop client, financial management, DME listener and financial management web services for web client. These two services should be running for HFM and these two services should be running for user authentication or shared service, right? There are four mandatory service you need. Giving a username and password. See, so there's a possibility like, because I open an application before, there's another application open. When you open an application, the application metadata loads up into your relational database. So there is a possibility when you create one application or your application already exists, open in memory and you try to create another application, your HFM throws an error message. So I call this track practical application one and specify the detail. Now application profile is something, all these artifacts you need to take from existing uh, practice application and subsequent session will create our own. For now, it is important you to use the existing one. So go to the practice application of one I gave you. Practical application, go to what is asking application profile. So you find a folder over here, profile and select demo calendar or PER. What is what we'll see next? So I set up the practice application then you here the first time you need to specify the folder where your temporary artifact would be stored, temporary object would be stored. So you can specify any folder name of your local file system. Okay. Next one is your user management project. It means when you create a HFM application where it is going to be stored in a shared service. Now shared service is basically one centralized means to 
परफॉर्म यूजर ऑथेंटिकेशन यूजर एंड ग्रुप एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू वेयर द एप्लीकेशन गोइंग टू बी स्टोर वी कैन सी फ्रॉम हेयर This is a URL to open a shared service. What I'm going to check, what are the folder exist in a shared service, and in which folder my application is going to be created, which web folder. So application group. This is logical grouping of application. Now, when you open uh, your financial management, you have a list of folders. The list of folders are coming from your Shared service, right? These are the folders, application group. Now make sure only if when your HFM is configured and registered with a shared service, then only you can see the folder list. If the folder list is not appearing, it clearly means your shared service, your HFM is not configured with your shared service. Therefore, you cannot create an application. Select the folder name. Here you need to type the financial management server URL for security administration. Right. So specify all these details, and once you specify all these details, click on create. Now what is happening in the underlying data source? Whatever data source you use during SPS configuration, it will create a list of tables. I already have an application with the same name. So it will create a list of the tables. There are certain underlying tables gets created, as I said. Right? This is an example of a table. I'll give you the complete list of tables which is used internally by HFM to store the metadata. Although we do not require these tables directly. But knowing the information about this table, you know, giving an added advantage. Give me one minute. Application got created, right? I was talking about underlying tables. See, the underlying tables are being used internally by HFM, although it is not exposed to the user, and we do not require them directly. But when you take a backup of your application, many of time for advanced administration, knowing these table details gives you added advantage, right? Table structure never exposed to the user because there is a possibility that people can directly connect to table and build their own application. Also, the data stored in a table it is not in the form that user can directly interpret them. Right. So, as a beginner, once your application is created, um, you click on open application. Your application name should be listed over here. We created empty application. It's like a folder. Your application listed over here, right? This is a practice application. The next step. Step first, create application. In the create application, we specify application profile. Which was the existing one we use. Next step, we load the metadata security. First, we load the security. Security, we are going to specify who are the user going to use my application. You don't have to memorize the sequence because it is already given in a sequence, right? Follow the sequence given over here. So load the security. Is mandatory because before we load the dimension and member, it'll refer to the user. The user exists or not? So it is always a safe side to load the security. Now security will detail discuss in detail. For now, security consists of users, group, and what access right the people have. It is a text file with SEC extension. You can find this file in a practice application folder. 
So go to again practice application folder. Security file. See the practice application is a modified version of sample application. So my recommendation is you start with practice application. This is security file. If you open it, it's pretty simple. There's a text file where the list of the groups, users are specified at readable format, text format. So only the security file information we need to specify. In which application you want to load this? My practice application 3. Open the application and load the security file. Okay, security file name, demo security, and if any anything any error occur, it will be displayed or recorded in a log file. Now dealing with my security semicolon, you can leave all this option as default because the practice application design with the default properties. Load application security file loaded successfully. You can check the log file. It says number of members are added, number of user group. So there are no group and user added. There's not a single user in group. Only security class. There are four security class added. And the time it has taken also mentioned over here. The beauty of HFM is all the objects are independent. The complete HFM artifacts are independent. You can plug and play. Imagine a situation you design a security model for one application and you want the same security model to be implemented for remaining application. So you have one, you have a separate text file can be used multiple times across the application, which implement a uniformity in your application. Okay, next step, security is loaded. I'm going to load the metadata. Metadata is, is like a dimension. We say the dimension, member, properties, all this information we are going to load to metadata. So next step, load metadata, right? Now metadata file is also given as in practice application. You can open a text file. It's an XML file. Metadata, there are two versions of metadata. One is for desktop client and one is for web client. The one which appears with XML are desktop client. XML is desktop client. And there's a file with ADS extension for web client. We prepare in XML so that you know it is platform independent, regardless whatever operating system you are using. Another beautiful feature of HFM. It means you create metadata one one environment and can be shared across reusable in different environment. We are not dependent on any specific operating system as far as metadata is concerned, right? So you can check if you wish for additional knowledge, you can check how the metadata look like before you load it. You can open manage metadata, open the metadata file, given a sample application, practice application. You can open there multiple version I have used and shared across. Uh, these different different version will be using in a different exercises. Somewhere I have used general posting added new map.